Make sure to check out all of our news products only at tvnation.net. For all you pink foam haters out there, check this out. This piece has been sitting in the boat for like two years and it looks like a brand new piece of foam. This is a 1648 Fisher Marine aluminum boat and I stopped working on this boat about two years ago and since then it's been sitting outside uncovered just like this. Now there's two different types of foam that I'm going to talk about that are in this boat and have been sitting in this boat for that entire time. That is the pink foam sheets from Home Depot and two part pour foam that I used down in the subfloor. This is a Mod V style boat very similar to a flat bottom boat. Um, in design so I should have never used pour foam in the subfloor of this boat if you guys remember in project Wilson I initially started off with pour foam in that subfloor and quickly tore all that out and replaced it with the pink foam that way the customer would never have any issues with any water drainage back to the transom to the bilge pump with lack of pour foam knowledge and two years of neglect on this boat we're about to tear everything out and see just how bad it is underneath the subfloor now here's some sun-baked waterlogged pour foam okay this is look at that that stuff is no good anymore we're gonna get all this stuff out of here get it ready for uh its next adventure has been sitting in the boat for like two years still solid still hard We got the first sheet off and this is the reason why I wanted to completely rebuild this boat. You see right here, we got a little puddle of water right there. That water's obviously got nowhere else to go except for maybe down into this crack, which there is water down in there too. There's more foam here, which closes all that off, which means that water's not going anywhere. This is one reason why um, in Project Wilson, I, after putting the pour foam in, I took everything back out and used only the pink foam. You can see up in here, everything's dry. It's, it's all, there's no issues up here. So that's kind of the reason why we don't put pour foam in a flat bottom or mod V style boat. Only really your deep V's where you can make that center channel and have everything draining properly. But once again, I love this pink foam. See, this was the other problem that I had when putting in the pour foam underneath was that I had nowhere for the drain ports to go for my cooler and my live well. So I had to like cut into all that and then make, fabricate this whole thing with 5200 around it to seal it all off. And it's just, it's just not the way to do it. Kind of embarrassing, but at least we're getting it taken care of now. At least this thing never went on the water looking like this. So this is all that I'm gonna have time for today. Um, I'll get the rest of this pulled out later, but subscribe to the channel because we are going to finish this boat. It's not going to be a top priority, but we are going to get it done. We're going to completely redo it. We have obviously all of our aluminum already. We got tanks, boxes, rivet together boxes, some of the first generation stuff that we tried, some more of the lids we got going on right here. So if we have everything. We just got to gotta do it right this time that's like the entire back deck it's kind of kind of funny this is what's left of all of our rod tube faces and we gotta do a bunch of cleaning up here but we did it